We are going to see if it can actually do a wheelie. <laughs> Hello friends, so today's video is going to be a special one because after a very long time I am doing an English video. Now, Malayalam videos are not available in Malayalam videos. I am going to show you this video in Malayalam. I am going to repeat it in English. Now, we are going to talk about this video in Malayalam. This video is going to be a special video. And the main reason for this video is that we are going to unbox and unveil a one-day video. So, we are going to unveil something very, you know, special today. So, that is what this video is going to about. So, this is also our next build. So, let's go ahead and unravel it. So, people who follow us on Instagram and YouTube must have seen a short video of this bike. So, as you have guessed, it's an RD350 and we are going to unpack this whole bike and see what is inside because I have not seen it as you know, I am going to unpack it along with you guys. Instagram and YouTube, we have followed you on Instagram and YouTube. We have already seen a glimpse of our subscribers and we have seen a glimpse of our subscribers. We have seen a short video of our shorts. We have seen a short video of our shorts. We have seen a short video of our shorts. We have seen a short video of our shorts. अनपैक किया हमारा ना तो ये नहीं क्या आ रही थी लाइव वंडी डांटर लेने तो आना वाला है ना तो निगल लोगों ने न्याने मास आ रहे हैं काना बोर ना आदि वाटे तो हम लोग के लोटन का लगा So, it's not going to be able to get this way, it's not going to be able to get this way. So, it's going to be a nice unboxing. This is the first unboxing that I'm going to actually enjoy. Because I've never really done an unboxing of a bike at this scale. Because usually, you know, the bikes that I get don't come with this kind of packing. But my RD350 did come like this when it came about 12 years ago so that was when you know we did this kind of an unboxing so yeah it's going to create a lot of mess here but you know it's going to be fun so yeah let's do the further unboxing and reveal the front end So unpack the front end, but the challenge is I couldn't find the keys in it, which I was told that will be here. So I'm hoping that it's in the mirror, but let's see. So let's do the remaining unpacking.
so we have unboxed the bike but we need to know uh, what is what so there are a couple of things that are jumping at me the moment i did the complete unveiling of this bike uh, so we are going to talk about that there are a few things which are not that great on this bike and then there are a few things which are terrible so one by one we will talk about those things abam unboxing kandallo ana athu oru vaadu cheri cheri prashnangal undu appo adakke namukku ഹൈലൈറ്റ് ചെയ്യാം ഇതിൻ്റെ കീ ഇതുവരെ കിട്ടിയിട്ടില്ല അപ്പോൾ ഞാൻ നോക്കട്ടെ കീ ഉണ്ടോ എന്ന് എന്നിട്ട് പെട്രോൾ ഉണ്ടെങ്കിൽ ഒന്ന് സ്റ്റാർട്ട് ചെയ്ത് നോക്കാം അപ്പം വണ്ടി മൊത്തത്തിൽ കുറേ നല്ല കാര്യങ്ങൾ ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ട് ദർ ആർ എ ലോട്ട് ഓഫ് ഗ്രേറ്റ് തിങ്സ് ഇൻ ദിസ് ബൈക്ക് ബട്ട് അറ്റ് ദ സെയിം ടൈം ഇറ്റ്സ് ലൈക്ക് യു നോ ഇഫ് യു ത്രോ ദ ബെസ്റ്റ് ഇൻഗ്രീഡിയൻസ് ഇൻ ടു സംതിങ് ആൻഡ് ട്രൈ ടു മേക്ക് എ ഡിഷ് everybody can't replicate the same quality of dish so i can see where these things have gone wrong in this bike so yeah this is going to be a fun one i am not a great fan of these custom paint jobs especially when you know the paint job is not that perfect so that is there another thing is it's leaking fuel so that means the tank needs repair um, i don't like the kind of stickering that has been done uh, especially the chambers and one big thing that i have actually caught which jumps right at me is this small contraption which is here which basically talks about you know the quality of workmanship on this because there is a small circle which is still available which they haven't put here but at the same time it comes with flat slide carburetors i can see the v force reeds at least on this side it is there so both sides they have done that um, then you know apparently i remember seeing the uh, ad for this bike before it went to the owner um so they were talking about us spec uh, uh, cylinders etc so we need to see what is the situation with that so let me quickly look for the key and let's try starting it to see you know how it sounds uh, one thing that the owner already informed me is that this particular switch is wired in the opposite way so that is purely because this is from a enfield bullet and four strokes actually don't ground the high tension signal they basically or the pulse signal they basically what they do is they just disconnect it so that's why it is wired in the upside down fashion but instead if instead of this if they would have used the shogun switch it would have been correct so that is that um, i see that the handle looks original i i don't know whether they are but you know we'll have to see uh there is going to be some amount of uh you know plating that needs to be done on this bike and uh the good news is the owner have given me full control on how this needs to be painted what the color co- choice would be so we have kind of finalized the color i also ran a post or a um, you know polling in one of the uh groups that i'm part of the rd350 group and we also got some inputs from members to understand what colors they like so taking those inputs we have kind of finalized on a color so that is going to be revealed next but right now what we are going to do is we are going to see if this bike actually has fuel and it if it starts so that's the next point so i have to look for the key and see uh, if the ignition key is there if not then our trouble troubles will start so we'll we'll do a clear um, you know what is present on this bike in an upcoming video i i don't want this video to be extremely lengthy so i'm i'm trying to keep it short uh, but at the same time uh, today's aim is to just see if it starts okay so let's let's do that and let's hope you know it starts so what i've done is i've unplugged the ignition key because there is obviously no ignition key so that poses a problem that opening the tank is going to be a difficult thing but we'll figure that out so what we are going to do now is we are attempting to start it okay so this is not going to be easy this bike has travel from orissa uh, there is fuel in the tank which i verified by you know shaking it so there is enough fuel which should 
help us start this bike but i don't know whether we would be able to ride it or not but i'll try to ride it okay appo njan endha cheyadu nu cheyna idinde ignition de connector uri vittittund appo adu uri vittu kenja vandi start avu appo idinathu korchu petrol undu njan kuliki nokke eppozhuthekku undayirunnu ini ipo idu start cheyidu nokkanana adutha parivadi appo keep your fingers crossed like you guys saw the bike started and i took it for a 50 meter spin i don't know how much petrol is left but there's still petrol in it now what we are going to do is we are going to see if it can actually do a wheelie <laughs> so yeah that is going to be fun this is you know disclaimer it's a closed road this is a private property so don't try this on the actual streets so i usually don't do these kind of stunts but you know this can you know do some wheelies i i felt that you know the kind of power that it has this is fun so let's try that okay <laughs> so you must have understood that i am not that good at wheelies so i can't do wheelies and yeah this bike is too loud and the amount of smoke it is producing crazy you know i i wish you could actually smell it it's awesome so yeah the ear to ear grin explains how excited i am to work on this so we are going to restore it it's going to be an awesome restoration so i want you guys to be part of this journey apam idina restore cheyna journey da part aayirikanam enna enikku aagraham undu ningal ellarum adu undu please like share and subscribe this is going to be an amazing build you know the way it sounds simply mind blown